When it comes to getting a job done, more guys use an F-150. Part of Texas forest country, you'll find the world headquarters for General Shelters. Since 1973, they've been manufacturing every type of portable and modular building you can think of. If you can draw it on a napkin, we can build it. If it'll go down the highway, we can get it there. And that's where you'll find David Kuntz, at least when he's not on the road in his F-150. We've got 40 distributors throughout the state in Louisiana. Our management staff stays in close contact with our independent distributors and I do as well. What I do, I'm in my F-150, and if I can tow them a guard shack or a mobile office on the way, I will. Helps them, helps us as well. He's a man dedicated to his company and his customers. But David Kuntz has a dark secret and a checkered past. I've been a GM owner basically all my life. Uh... What was behind David's switch to Ford? A three and a half ton trailer. Today we're towing basically an eight by 20 finished building, about 7,800 pounds. It's about 11 foot tall, so it's got a lot of wind drag on it also. When I had my GM, I hooked it up and I pulled it about seven miles, and that's all I wanted. I, I was ready to get out from under it. I would never have took it across country or across the state like I am with my F-150. The horsepower's there and the low end torque is there. When you're pulling something this big, you want it to pull straight. Anti-sway just helps keep it in line. I feel confident in uh, being able to go anywhere with this. His F-150 has an EcoBoost engine under the hood. The torque comes on fast, stays on, which is what he needs to tow thousands of pounds all day long. I did my homework. Uh, I watched all the torture tests online, and uh, I was confident in what I saw to be the truth. Performance is more of my forte, I guess. The fuel economy is a good side of that. Even in high winds and uh, stop and go traffic, it's a good mile and a half better than what I've had before. David isn't all business, but he's always busy, and so is his F-150. He farms for fun. We're moving hay out of the field with my trailer. Toes his barbecue to charity cookouts. Hey, I'll eat. It's ready. Lugs his hunting camp to Kansas. Spent quite a bit of weight on that truck for 625 miles back. I guess we were all Boy Scouts because we uh, we go well prepared. And pulls his bass boat to the lake. One of my favorite things to do is go bass fishing. The backup camera and the navigation screen combination. When you're hooking up your trailer, especially when you're by yourself, you can back up to the trailer knob right off the bat without having to reposition the truck several times. That makes it nice. A guy like David without a truck just wouldn't be a guy like David. Right now, I've got over 45,000 miles on it. I've only had it about a year and a half. It's kind of a one-size-fits-all truck for me. It does everything I need it to do. It just fits our lifestyle in East Texas. 